hey guys what's up what's new it's your girl star and i'm back again with another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you so so very much so today we're reacting to would you build a temple to god for jews christians and muslims would you build a temple to god for jews Christians and Muslim. Would you pray with a Christian Muslim? Which would you pray with? Let's dive right. I'm very anxious and eager to know this answer, their answers. Let's dive right in. An idea, somebody outside said. What if Jews, Muslims, and Christians built a temple to God like together? A, a prayer, not, not the temple. Not the, the prayer, temple, prayer uh, just a prayer, prayer space, space, yes. Yeah. Would you support that idea? Yes. Okay. Why? Uh, I think that that's the ideal of uh, Am Yisrael, is to bring everyone together uh, uh, to serve God together, to really be able to bring all the world together. And to pray together. Even, and to be able to pray together, be able to serve together, be able to serve each other. Okay. Would you pray in that space? Um, like with Christians and Muslims together? Praying yeah, to God, not praying to the, God. Yes, praying to God. If there was no Christian, like yeah, no uh, imagery, right, no nothing. There was no yeah, there can't be. Uh, to explain imagery. to the viewer, there can't be Christian imagery. Right, you can't without be, any Christian imagery, and, and no reference to any other and gods. No reference to any right. other gods, for right. sure. I would pray in that space if there was machitza. Okay. <laughs> so there has to be a separation between men and women. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. 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 But not between yes. Jews and non-Jews. Between Jews and non-Jews, I don't think so. No. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. If Jews, Muslims, and Christians built a temple to God, is that a good idea? I think and would you pray in it? I think that any partnership between peoples and religions and faiths and ethnicities is a good thing. It doesn't always speak to me personally in the way that I won't go and maybe pray in such a temple, but overall it sounds like a good idea. Why wouldn't you pray in such a temple? I'm an Orthodox Jew. I have my own uh, mishugas, as we say, uh, crazy rules that I keep to. Can you explain that to somebody who doesn't understand? No, that's, that's all. No? You can't That's explain it. it? No. Okay. Im Yehudim, Muslimim and Nutzrim ayu bonim lo bet mikdash, aval mashu kadosh leelokim ayita tomech beze, kiru? Ze lo rak shayiti tomech, ze mas shayiye beemet. Ki kutu, abayit ashlishi, abayit iye achi mefoar vachi yafe mikol abatim shayu ad akshab. Bet mikdash ashlishi. Ashlishi iye achi yafe, kaka kadu pasuk, yash pasuk mefoar shal ze. וכי ביתי בית תפילה יקרא לכל העמים. Okay. הבית שלי, שהוא בית תפילה, הוא יקרא לכל העמים. אז אפשר לנוצרים, אפשר למוסלמים, כל אחד יכול אבל להתפלל. אבל לפני שיהיה הרבה נוצרים ויהיה הרבה מוסלמים, הם מתגיירים. כתוב שיהיה הרבה גרים שיתגיירו, okay. כי יראו את הניסים שאו-טו-טו יקרו עם המשיח שלנו שיבוא, אז יהיה הרבה ניסים ויהיו הרבה גרים שמתגיירים בגלל הניסים שיקורים. אז אתה מתכוון לאלה שיישארו נוצרים ומוסלמים. כן, כן, נגיד, נגיד. אז מותר כן. להם, נכון? כן. להתפלל. כן, בוודאי, הפסוק אומר בפירוש, כמו שהיה בבית המקדש, בית המקדש הראשון והשני, גם היו מביאים קורבנות הגויים, היה, תקופ, היה איזה זמן שמתפללים בשביל הגויים. ולכן כשנחרב בית המקדש, אז, אז החכמים אמרו, אתם הגויים לא יודעים מה עשיתם, הרסתם לעצמכם, כי ברגע שהיה את בית המקדש, שהיה בא לכם שפע מדרך בית המקדש. עכשיו שהחרבתם אותו, השפע נפסק ממכם. If Jews, Muslims and Christians built a temple to God, not בית המקדש, but a, a temple for all three religions, would, would you support that idea? I don't know if it's practical. It's, it's, it's a cool idea in terms of like, you know, collaboration, but it's not really compatible, I right. suppose. Well, maybe between Jews and Muslims, between Jews, Muslims, and Christians, the theology of Christians is not really so compatible with, with, with Islam or with Judaism. Because, because of Jesus is seen yeah. as the son of God or sort of a God. And yeah. yeah it's, it's problematic for, I'm explaining to the viewer, <laughs> to Jews and Muslims. So, um, would you pray in it? If there were no idols, if there was no uh, uh, Jesus on a cross or something? I don't know. I'd have to, have to think about it. I, I guess, why would you rather go to there than Shul? No, but, you, no, but I mean, would you go there like, you know, you know they're, they're shared, would go you, to a would university? You avoid, would you avoid praying? If I knew that it was permitted for me to go in there, I would definitely check it out. Permitted by Allah, yeah. we're talking about, Jewish law. Yeah. Would it, would it be permitted? I don't know, I'm not a rabbi. What's your guess? Your best? <sighs> I really don't know. 
I really, I really couldn't tell you. It, you would be, it would be for sure be a complicated uh, discussion. Right. Because you can't have idol worship. That's a big yeah, thing. Yeah, big time. And, big time. And if, if it was only uh, Judaism and, and Islam, not, no Christianity. Yeah, for that, if it was be Christianity, then there's no question you wouldn't be able to. With, with Islam, it's more. I think you can go into mosques to pray. I believe mm. so, and probably would be okay. Mm. I don't know for sure. I'll take my I, word for that, it. And, and it's not because, let me clarify, as you know, it's not because they're Christian. Right. It's because there are idols in there and a big taboo in Judaism yeah. and in Islam is idol worship. Yeah. Huge. Exactly. And so Jesus on a cross is an idol, well according to most Jews. Although I would say some Jews have pictures of famous rabbis and that could be seen as idol worship. But that's a whole other that's argument. That's a different, yeah, a different discussion. Im ayubonim beit mikdash klali. לנוצרים, יהודים ומוסלמים, שאפשר להתפלל בו. אתה תומך ברעיון הזה? לא מלכתחילה, אבל... כי ביתי בתפילה יקרה לכל העמים. אחרי שזה כבר בנוי, אז אפשר להגיע כולם. מה זאת אומרת? כבר בנוי? לא הבנתי. כתוב על בית המקדש, כי ביתי בתפילה יקרה לכל העמים, וכל אחד יכול להגיע ולהתפלל. אבל אין בית מקדש היום. אני מאמין שאם ייבנה, אז... אבל נגיד שזה לא בית מקדש, ושל היהודים, משהו כללי, נגיד לא פה, זה ביוסטון, לא יודע. אין עבור המשמעות ליהודים אבל, אני לא רואה יהודים שיכולו להתפלל שם. למה? כי הם מאמינים שבית המקדש זה פה. זה לא בית הבית המקדש, זה בית תפילה, כללי. בית תפילה כללי. היית מתפלל שם, נגיד שהיית באזור. אבל מה המשמעות של הבית תפילה? זה לא משנה. שכל גיר. העמים מתפללים ביחד. אני לא רואה בזה ערך. לא? פה יש ערך, כי הבית מקדש הוא ירושלים, ויש לו ערך היסטורי, אבל אני לא רואה ערך לבית תפילה משותף. אפשר לעשות דברים אחרים משותפים. כמו? חיים זה לצד זה. זה מה שאנחנו עושים היום. דו קיום. אוקיי, okay. פה יש דו-קיום, מוסלמים, נוצרים? כן, אני הולך לסדר את הרכב בכפר, פה בכפר הערבי ליד. אם היה בית תפילה שהיה מובנה ליהודים, מוסלמים ונוצרים, מה דעתך? היית תומך בדבר כזה? זה בית כללי לכל הדתות. בעיקרון כן, רק הנקודה היא שכל אחד יש לו את הייחודיות שלו, אז טכנית הוא אפשרי. אוקיי, היית... מתפלל בו? אני אומר עוד פעם, זה טכני, זה לא אפשרי, כי זה כל אחד התפילה שלו, ואיך שהוא מתפלל. למה אתה לא יכול? נגיד, תסביר. אני מסביר כי התפילה שלנו היא תפילה שונה משל המוסלמים ומשל הנוצרים, זה שכל אחד מאמין בצורה שלו ובדרך שלו, באלוקים, אבל זה רעיון, הוא רעיון חיובי. אוקיי, אבל מה, נגיד שזה חלל ריק כזה, אין סימנים של... הצורה של התפילה... זה בסדר, אבל אם יש נוצרי שם ומוסלמי שם, זה משנה? לא. אתה יכול להתפלל. כן. אם יהודים, מוסלמים ונוצרים רצו לבנות מקדש, כאילו לאלוהים, לאלוקים, בית תפילה, את תומכת בזה? להתפלל יחד. להתפלל יחד. מורחב? אני אומרת זה מורכב. מורכב. תלוי מי ותלוי מה הכוונה, וזה אמור להיות נשען על מקומות שלנו, על כאילו, על הלכה. נגיד שזה כן לפי ההלכה, אין סימנים, אין סימנים של דת אחר, אין צלב, אין משהו כזה, כאילו אין דבר כזה. לא, 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 זה הרבה לפני כן. זה לא הסממנים החיצוניים, זה הכוונות הפנימיות, כאילו. אוקיי. כי הרמב״ם אומר שצריך לבנות בית מקדש. בית מקדש לכל הדתות או בית מקדש ליהודים? כתוב על בית מקדש שזה בית תפילה יקרה לכל העמים. אבל כל העמים לא יכלו להיכנס. מי לא יכול להיכנס? אין כניסה לזרים. יש הלכה של מקדש. למי מותר להיכנס? למי אסור? לטמא אסור? לגויים אסור? יש תורה, שזה מה כתוב, הכל. אוקיי. מה מותר ומה אסור, מה כן ומה לא. אוקיי, אז מי, למי אסור? מי זה הזרים האלה? אני לא למדתי את זה, אני לא יודעת. אוקיי. אנחנו בכותל, 
השאלה הבא, זה שאם היה בית תפילה ליהודים, מוסלמים ונוצרים, היית מתפלל שם? לא. למה? יש עניין בייחוד של תפילות. אוקיי. של מה שקיבלנו בתור העם היהודי. הייתי רוצה לשמר ולייחד אותו. אז מה בדיוק ה... אישיו? אני מאמין שיש, שיש חלוקה בין הנבואים ויש uh, לכל אחד תפקיד משלו. אוקיי. Okay. לא, אבל השאלה זה אם היית מתפלל למישהו לא יהודי. חביב אדם שנברא בצלם, אין לי... נגיד שמוסלמי בא לכאן, okay. הולך על הברכיים והוא מתפלל פה, בכותל. זה היה מפריע לך? לא התכנסתי בתוך השאלה הזאת ואני חושב שכל עוד יש ערכים ש... ו... ויסודות שהם נשמרים בגבולות לכל אחד ל... ל... למקור שלו זאת אומרת אל אחד או... אל אחד לכולם כמובן אוקיי okay. The most helpful thing you can do for the Ask Project is to come here, visit, rent a car, and we'll go ask questions together. You can ask any question you want. I'd love to have you come. Just... Wow. That was amazing. That was interesting. Because everyone keep on quoting the scripture from Isaiah where he said that there shall be a house of prayer for everyone. right and everyone can enter and yet i feel like the um some of the jewish persons here just now are contradicting themselves because many of them i know it's their own opinion opinions and beliefs because as you can see everyone keep on referring to the jewish laws right and i did not know that if you're not a jewish um believer you um you cannot enter into a saigon is it a saigon yeah if you're not a a, a a jewish um right you cannot enter if you're a non-jew you cannot enter but why with um islam if you're not a muslim you can enter um um a mosque which is which is so amazing right Because if you're seeking help, you're, you're going to tell me that they're going to, um, the Jews are a Jewish man or a Jewish woman is going to turn you away from the, the Saigon if, while you're in need of help because you are not a believer um, or you're not a, a, a because you are a non-Jew, they're going to turn you away. And this is why I love Islam. Not to say bashing any religion, but this is why I, I love Islam because... they will not turn you away and this is where a brotherhood come from the care the genuine care the genuine respect the love right this is how they come into place and they're i feel like some of these jews are contradicting themselves because they just stated that god god will um the verse said that um there will be a house of prayer for everyone and yet they're saying that they would not pray with a christian But I've, I'm feeling that they will most likely pray with a, um, a Muslim because they, they, they share the same um, belief in the one God and dressing in a certain way and presenting themselves, not um, um, worshiping idols. I don't know where they get that from though. I've never seen, well... the catholic most some of the catholic churches does but not every christian churches has um that that would be referred to as idols right i don't know but then the gentleman just said that most of the some jews they have pictures of the of rabbi of a rabbi right and that is idolic worshiping also ah uh. Sometimes these religions are so, so contrary and they are so confusing at times.
but I've never been confused with Islam. Never. Which is good. Which is good, guys. It's good on your side. So, some persons say that it, they would support the idea, but they would not go there. So, someone said, what if they build it um in another country? Would you go there? They're saying that no, they would not go there because it should be built where the Jewish can enter. And if it's in another country, they will not go there to enter. Some person said it's a very good idea for this um for to come up with a a, a temple where the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims can enter. While some of enter, while some while some other persons are saying that. They love the idea, but they would not um, enter into that temple with um, Christians or Muslims. While some say they will, they would think about it, while some others say that they would probably enter with um, Muslims, but not with Christians because Christians are idolic wor um, worshippers. So, <sighs> I hope that answers your question, guys. If they were to build a a temple for Jews, where Jews and Muslims and Christians could come together, the Jews are saying that they would not enter. It's a good idea because it would bring Chris, um, the religions together, right? It would be more peaceful, right? Unless judgment would be passing over all the religion, it would be just one, where all religions are welcome to pray, to come for prayer right there would be no um division there would be togetherness love and unity so i don't know what did you guys think of this video tell me in your opinion i think that it would be a good thing where all of us can come together and worship but like one person said that it all depends how because the person that was interviewing interviewing during the interview said what if there was no idol there's no idol or there was only one god um they were all worshiping both the jews the christian the muslim but one person said that it's all about it all depends on how a specific a specific person would worship even though they would have one belief the three of the religions would have one belief it all depends on how a specific person would worship right it all depends on how they would worship so i don't know we all worship different we all we might believe in the same god but we all worship different so i don't know what did you guys think of this video if you did like this video please thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much that lovely the way guys Mwah.